Hello everyone, I am Varun Yadav, Senior Cloud Engineer here at Oracle and in this video I am going to show you how you can create usage plan in Oracle API Gateway. So let's first understand what is usage plan. Usage plan is something we can use to create rate limiting and create quota based on the subscriber. And with that we get the ability to define the service tier and we can capture metrics based, across the, based on the plan and across all the API. And it is the path towards API monetization. So why should you care about usage plan? Usage plans offer valuable insight into your API ecosystem. With this plan, you can effectively track who is accessing your APIs, giving you a clear picture of your user base. They also allow you to measure precisely how much each user or application is utilizing your APIs, help you understand usage pattern and peak time. Perhaps most importantly, usage plan reveal which of your API are providing the most value. By identifying your most frequent accessed API, you can make informed decision about your resource allocation and future development. So let's understand a usage plan uh, by a simple example. So here I have set of different APIs. In total, I have four APIs for a product catalog. One is to get all the information and other three APIs to perform get, update and delete on individual product ID. And on the left hand side, I have three different plans, trial, business and enterprise. And for each plan, I have created a rate, limit, and the quota. And down below, I have two different subscriber group. One is for enterprise subscriber, and another one is trial. So for the trial subscriber, I have given them access to the trial plan. And in the trial plan, they can only access two API. One is to get all of the, all the product information, and one is to get an individual product information. And the rate limit for that particular plan is five requests per second and ten requests per hour in total. As we move up for business tier, I have given them access to all the API. Rate limit is 50 per second and the quota is 1000 requests per minute. And for the enterprise, I have just increased the rate limit and the quota. This is how you can create the usage plan. Now let's move on to the demo section where I will show you how you can create this exact usage plan in Oracle API Gateway. Right now I am in API Gateway homepage and I'll start by creating the gateway first. So I'll give a name. I'll keep it public and I'll choose the network. All right, uh, that's pretty much it. I'll click create gateway. This will take few seconds to get provision. Once provision, we will create deployment and then we'll create usage plan and then the subscriber. So we'll create a deployment. We'll give a name product services, maybe trial at the end so that we know it's created for the uh, trial plan. The reason why we are doing this is because in our trial plan, we just want to give access to get methods, but we don't want to give access to the put and the delete method. So here we can give a prefix, maybe v1. And then in the usage plan, I can say where I want to pass my um, client ID or whatever the name that we want to give for the parameter. So if you want to pass it in the header, I can simply paste it and here name what I can give is x dash client dash id and click save click next I'll do no authentication for now click next once again and for the path I can simply say products and the method will be get backend is http and I will pass my URL and I'll add another route just to get a single product. So that will be product slash and I'll pass the path variable. So I want to pass the ID and the method will be get again backend will be HTTP and I can copy the URL from the top paste it here and here now what I want to do is I want to use the path ID uh, in the URL right. So to do that we will pass the context variable in a form of request path. To do that we will pass something like this and replace the region with the ID. And now I'll click next and I'll go ahead and click create. Now our deployment is ready, so let's create a usage plan. 
So if I click on create users plan and then give it a name, let's give it like a free or you know what trial usage plan. Click next. We'll create an entitlement. We'll give a name of free tier and we'll enable rate limit of five per second. And I want to enable the quota for request. So I want to say 10 requests and that is for per hour. So now let's say if we meet this uh, quota, what should be, um, you know, the next step if it breaches that quota, right? So we can select reject if it, you know, if we request for the 11th time. And lastly, we want to add the deployment. We'll select our deployment. Click add, create. And then finally click next and then create. Let's give a few minutes for the user's plan to be active. All right, now our user's plan is active. We can once again go back to the homepage for the API gateway. We'll click on subscriber and we'll create a new subscriber. Let's give a name, trial subscriber. The name, maybe I'll give my name and generate a new token. We'll copy this token as we will use this to test our API and we will link the subscriber to the usage plan. So we want to assign trial usage plan, click add, create. So let's wait for this subscriber to be active and then we can test this API in our postman. So while this is being uh, provisioned, I'll go back to the API gateway and then I'll copy the uh, host name or I can go to the deployment. From the deployment page, we will copy the endpoint for that particular deployment and then we will go to the postman to test our API. I'll pass this in the URL and our endpoint was v1 slash products to get all the product. And it's a get method. And another thing we want to pass is header. So he header is x client id. And we need that because we are part of that subscriber group and the usage plan. And we'll pass the value. And I'll click send. Let's see if we are getting back the re response. Okay. So we are getting back the response with status 200. What I'll do is like I'll try to hit this API multiple times so that we can test out our usage plan whether it is actually working or not. So I'll click this second, third, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. You see, we are getting 29 too many requests. So we know our usage plan is working as expected, right? So similar way we can create another usage plan for the enterprise user. Right, so we can go back to a gateway. We'll create a. Let's give this deployment a name. We will call it Enterprise Product Services. And for Park Refix, we can give slash me too. Now let's configure usage plan. Want to pass it as a header. Uh, we can also use query, path, and authentication, whatever you prefer. Let's say for this example, we want to pass it using the query. I'll simply. Copy and paste it over here and I will say client dash ID. Save change. Click next. No authentication. Next. And here we will create a route similarly we did for the other deployment to get all the products. We'll create another route. Here we will give the path. So this is the path for getting the individual product. And in the method, we are not only getting the individual product, but we will update and we can delete that as well. And we can select our backend. And we will go ahead and create this deployment. Let's create a usage plan for enterprise users. So we'll click on create usage plan. We'll give enterprise name and click next. We'll create entitlement. We can give the same name enterprise and we'll enable rate limit for 100 enable quota we'll say 500 5000 request per minute and if it breaches that quota we'll reject that and in the deployment we'll select our enterprise 
get a deployment create next and let's create this while this is creating we can create another usage plan for business tier so we will click on create name business i'll copy the name click next in the end element i'll give the same name rate limit this time maybe 50 a request per second enable quota instead of 5000 for enterprise we'll give 1000 per minute and reject on breach of uh, the quota and for the deployment we'll select the same deployment like the enterprise click create and click next and create while this is creating we also saw a notification for enterprise usage plan is active let's go to subscriber and create a new subscriber for enterprise let's fill out all the information needed for the subscriber we will select the usage plan enterprise click add and then finally create all right once this is ready we can test out our api and see whether this is working or not all right now the enterprise is successfully created i'll go back to my postman and i'll duplicate this tab which i used for free tier and the difference over here is instead of v1 first of all it will be v2 and for the header we are not going to use the header anymore because if you remember we created a request for the query parameter for the users plan so this will be like client dash id equal to and we will paste our value for the users plan and let's click send to test this out okay this is working as expected what i'll do is like i'll just do get one maybe get 1011 click send working as expected maybe what i want to do is like i want to update a field let's say cost price instead of 499 i want to change it to 599 i'll copy the body i'll go over here click raw and i'll say 5.99 and method will be put okay it worked we see the response is 599 okay so this is working as expected but if i go back to my uh, free tier and i'll try to hit the uh, api once again let's see if i'm getting any response back no still it's under one hour so i'm getting too many requests right so this is working uh free tier and uh, enterprise user right so both of them uh, apis are working as expected right so i just want to show one more uh, thing um, in this video so let's say there is a subscriber group who is part of like both the plans right like then in that case what will happen so let's first create uh, one more subscriber and i want this subscriber to be part of both business usage plan and the enterprise usage plan so I'll click on the enterprise. Subscriber is part of multiple usage plan. The prioritization takes place. So in this case, we have business and enterprise. And as you can see in the priority, business have priority one and enterprise have priority two. We can reorder the priority for a particular subscriber. So let's say if we want to change the priority of the enterprise usage plan for this particular subscriber, I can reorder and move to up. So now what will happen is the enterprise usage plan will be in priority one. So the rates and the quota for the enterprise usage plan will be applied to this particular subscriber. And now let's take a look at another example here in the enterprise subscriber. For example, if the user earlier used the trial plan and then they move to the enterprise, we want to give enterprise usage plan priority one and the trial priority two. I have made a few modifications to explain this scenario better. So in the enterprise uh, usage plan, I have added free tier entitlement and I have changed the rate limit for this. So now the rate limit is 100 per second, 1000 requests per minute and the usage plan is for the product service trial, right? And if you look at the trial usage plan here, the free tier entitlement only allows 5 requests per second and 10 requests per hour quota. So now if the user enterprise user hits this deployment they will be allowed the rate limit and the quota based on the enterprise usage plan so let's quickly save this and test it out in our postman 
so now our enterprise subscriber is active what i will do is like i'll i have written a short curl command that will loop 25 times and call this uh, api so if i run this command here as you can see in the url i am using v1 that is our trial service and i'm using the token for the enterprise user so let's hit this command and see whether we are getting the response back or not so as you can see down here the count request count is increment so from this we can understand that enterprise usage plan is taking in place because that is in priority one instead of free trial so now let's test out another scenario where free trial is in priority one and enterprise is priority two change the order move up and save this so now according to this priority what will happen is our trial is priority one and enterprise is priority two so the rate limit for the enterprise usage plan is five per second and ten per hour so that will take in place instead of the free tier entitlement in the enterprise plan which allows 100 per second and 1000 per minute so let's take a look uh, using the curl command and it should give the response accordingly i'll paste the command and as you can see i didn't change the api or the client id now i hit the request the expectation is after 10 requests it should give me the error for too many requests And as you can see, this is working as expected because after 10 requests, all the requests after that is giving me too many requests error message. With this, I will conclude the demo. I hope you find this video helpful and you get to learn about how to utilize usage plan in Oracle API Gateway.